I could use a snack. Think there's any fish out in that lake? Si es un lago artificial, ¿por qué no habría? Quién sabe. Ok, acá estamos. Por motivo, al ver el lago hizo que todo se tilde. Tal y tu opinión. So much empty space. A thousand of my people could live here and hardly even see each other. They built a lake on a space station. I can't even imagine the resources needed to maintain it. Ok, entonces imagino que la raza de los coreanos es bastante... No sé la palabra, pero... Bajen, por favor. No hagan ese baile raro que están haciendo los dos. Rex, hace con mi Tali y baja, por favor. No te muevas extrañamente. Ok, quédate ahí. ¿Sabes qué? Hace lo que quieras, ahí viene. Ahora tenemos que ir así a decirle al consejo del coso. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Patia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. What do you need? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. Hmm. El bar de acá, hijo. Aquí hay un bar. Cargando. No, acá no hay ningún bar. Ahí está la academia. Ahí está la torre que es donde tenemos que ir ahora. Mapa. Ok, ahí. Para llegar ahí. Tengo que ir por acá. Ok, entonces esto es volver. Tenemos un equipo re pro ahora. Empezamos con Kaden y con Ashley. Ahora tenemos a Kaden, Ashley, Rex, un dinosaurio cool y Tali. Y nos falta alguien más todavía. No mire la pared. ¿Por qué son tan der... Sa son raros. Son raros ustedes dos. Wow, se teletransportó. Se quedan mirando paredes, se traban con escaleras. No tengo que ir. Ok, derecho. Todos los humanos en este juego son racistas. Dios santo. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Batya is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Batya. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Narali Batya died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Batya no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. Hmm. Me imagino que son armas de los Gets, que debe ser diferente a las nuestras o algo así. You think her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nerali Batia is not dangerous. Her body is in fact extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully. Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. Hace sentido, es lo que estaba diciendo yo. No, sí que está bien. O sea, es raro y es malo que pase esto, pero al mismo tiempo puede salvar más vidas. Número de cuerpo, resultado de la investigación. When will this research result in actual new technology? If we're lucky, we'll actually realize usable technology from this study in a few years. How long do you think the research is going to take? This is a long-term study. I wouldn't expect the bodies to be released for a year or longer. Mm. Estoy de acuerdo con esto, la verdad, así que se lo tenemos que decir. I'll tell Mr. Bachi about this. It might make it easier for him to understand. Thank you. I appreciate that. Please let me know if you have any other questions. Tranquil, calm, relaxing, 
Wake me when this is over. Don't believe the rumors. The consort would never reveal her secrets. What do you want? Oh, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? What can you tell me about the Asari consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with... things. Ha ha ha! You've never been, have you, boy? I, uh... No, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Esto no es una misión que tenemos que hacer al principio cuando hablamos con el el cor, no la bolus, el bolus es el perrito. Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Okay, si tenemos tiempo lo hacemos entonces. Creo que es una misión secundaria. My people used to have an embassy here. But after we created the Geth, we were no longer welcome. Acerca de los Geth, tengo una pregunta para los cuarianos. ¿Cómo mierda no se dan cuenta que están creando un robot con inteligencia artificial? Que puede empezar a evolucionar uno mismo. Ustedes mismos lo crearon, y si fueron creados solo para trabajos fáciles como leí en el códex, ¿cómo es que no se dan cuenta que crearon cosas que ganaron una guerra contra ustedes mismos? Uh, no tengo idea, ¿qué hay acá? Hay un Elcor, una diplomática. I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. Estoy agarrando cosas que me dan experiencia. Hay un cuidador. Ah, no cliqué el cuidador que estaba cuando salamos a Tali. Human, delighted, welcome. It is good to meet you. Los Elcor me encantan. Me caen muy bien y me encanta cómo hablan. Por acá creo cuando volvemos, ¿no? O venimos de ahí. No, por acá. Tun, 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 tun. Ojalá lo tome bien, aunque no creo que lo va a tomar bien. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? They're running medical studies on Norelli. That's why they won't release the body. Tests? They're holding my wife's body for tests? My wife served the Alliance faithfully. She gave her life for humanity. And this is how they repay her. Mr. Bacha, your wife died defending humanity. We still need her help. What right does the military have to hold her body? She's already given her life. She died a hero, Mr. Bacha, and now she has a chance to save even more lives. It doesn't matter. She's dead. I just want her to come home. I miss her so much. Let them run their tests. Let my wife save lives so that others are spared the loss I feel today. Goodbye. Thank you for finding me answers. No es el mejor resultado, pero con el tiempo va a ser mejor porque vamos a ser más personas. No tenemos que ir así, con el consejo. Para allá el consejo tenemos que ir por acá. Sniper tracking our every step. Y acá está el consejo, así que imagino que sí. We've tried to create organic environments back on the flotilla, but we lack the space for anything as grand as this. Parece raro vivir en una nave para. Bueno, en realidad nosotros también vivimos en una nave en toda nuestra vida, así que. Come on. Udine is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who's she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. 
I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. Es un peligro. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. ¿Y qué tal la desaparición de los proteanos? Y ya tuviste dudas de mí una vez y te equivocaste. Esto es malo, o sea, ¿por qué diría eso? No ayuda a nada. Esto tampoco, porque estamos afirmando algo que ellos dicen que no es real. Esta es la mejor opción para mí. Y es lo que haría yo. I tried to warn you about Saren and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Pero por lo menos tenemos algo de información y algún motivo antes que no tener nada. Lo que ustedes están diciendo supuestamente es, ok, ellos siguen a, a Saren y es una amenaza, pero no sabemos por qué. Por lo menos con eso tenemos una información y algún motivo. Te equivocas, pero yo no los vimos, así que no mientas. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The Council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. A Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull. Ambassador, there is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. Oh. You don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human Spectre. Everybody's happy. Commander Shepard, step forward. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. Oh, see. Sí. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. 
This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. <laughs> Bastard didn't even thank you. No hay que esperarse gracias a esa persona, es un forro. ¿No te diste cuenta que siempre que termina de hablar termina gritando? What do you expect from a politician? Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. Yeah, wow, casi me caigo. ¿Me puedo caer? No, no puedo. Seguimos de nivel. Pelotón. Vamos a ver. Mm, vamos a poner en encanto. Ey, me puso intimidación uno solo. Ok. Unas opciones. Eso es bueno. Vamos a poner un encanto, uno en la electrónica que nos da más escudo y escudo es bueno. Rex. Sos el mejor tanque que va a haber. Pero necesitas armadura. Esto nos da mejora de escudo. Eso es bueno. Activar forma física. Aumenta la reducción de daño. Eso es bueno también. Armadura. Y Tali. Tali sola en la raya. Nombre bastante largo que tenés. 14 puntos. Y vos sos mecánica. Ingeniero. Señor de la guerra croga. Señor de la guerra Cro Traducción en español. Dios santo. Señor de la guerra krogan. En todo caso, no croga. Krogan no es nada. Ah, tengo miedo que hayan equivocado el nombre de Tali y no sea así. Que le haya faltado una letra o algo. Ok. Eh, ¿qué va a hacer? Así. Mmm. Decodificación. ¿Para qué arma usas? Primero. No usas pistolas, usas metralletas. Ah, vos sos Rex. Soy un genio yo. No carguen. Ahí. Pistolas, sin entrenamiento. Escopetas. Ok, escopetas, pistolas usas. Y por lo que veo tenés talentos muy parecidos a los míos. Así que creo que voy a hacer lo mismo que estoy haciendo conmigo. Mucha armadura. Mecánica acuariana. Resistencia tecnológica 10%. Aumenta en 60 puntos la capacidad del escudo. O sea... ¡Wow! ¡Wow! Un segundo. ¿Dónde está lo mío, ingeniero? Mi, lo mío aumenta... No tanto. Pero, o sea, Tali tiene directamente el doble de esto. ¿Va a tener el doble escudo que yo? 60 más... 60... Más no... ¡Oh, por Dios! ¿Cuántos escudos vas a tener? Oh por dios, ¿saben qué? Todo escudo, creo que primero voy a mejorar escudos para mí, para Tali Y Rex también, con armadura Porque es lo que más sirve hasta ahora Electrónica Inflige daño, si sí, eso es bueno ¿Saben qué? Escudo, pero... Mmm, esto da más escudos todavía Y resistencia tecnológica todavía, más, más, más escudos Wow, cuántos escudos tenés Dios santo Sos un tanque Vas a, tener, vas a ser más tanque que Rex, creo Aumenta el daño, explosiones a mí, eso es bueno, pero creo que por un punto de pistola, bueno, más escudo no es necesario, creo. Esto es bueno, vamos a ponerte ahí. Ok, ¿cuánto escudo tienes ahora, Tali? Dios santo. Y ahí, vamos a equiparle armas. Armas, en realidad esto. No, este soy yo. No tengo armadura y tampoco tengo nada para ponerte ahí. Escopeta, te hay una mejor, sí, acá. Puntería. Daño. No, esto no. Dije no, esto no. Usar. No puedo, no quiero esto. No, no le pongan eso. No sé cómo sacarlo. ¿Ahí? Ok, ahí está. Creo que estamos bien. Sí, continuemos. Ahora tenemos que hacer... No sé cuál es nuestra misión ahora. Ya cagamos a Saren. Diario. Desenmascarada a Saren. Has demostrado que Saren está lesionado con los Gliet. El consejo... Sí, somos espectro ahora. 
Ok, perseguirlo. Ok, tengo que ver con el embajador que está. Ok, por donde vinimos. Igual te, está cerca de la academia, así que eso es bueno porque en la academia es donde tenemos que ir para hablar el vendedor de armas, algo así, como dijo Anderson. You Quarians messed up the whole galaxy when you let the Geth break free. Do your people ever talk about it? Do the Krogan talk about starting a foolish war that resulted in the Turian sterilizing your people? Oh, all the time. I was never a fan of this statue. The Krogan monument just seems more impressive to me. The Protheans obviously understood the aesthetic value of the mass relays. Something we Quarians have learned to appreciate during our wanderings. Hay peces en el agua, no sé. Pero no saltó ninguno, así que no creo. I could use a snack. Think there's any fish out in that lake? Acabo de responder. Debería haber peces en realidad. Este lugar es gigante. Y hay pájaros, así que por qué no peces. The Krogan rebelled against the Council, yet they have a statue on the Citadel, and we Quarians still live as outcasts. At least you still live. In another 200 years, this statue might be the only evidence my people ever existed. Sí, eso es triste, la verdad. The statue represents what the Krogan used to be. A proud and fierce nation. Now we're just brutes for hire to the highest bidder. We've forgotten our roots. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. Me acabo de dar cuenta de algo. Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. Ninguno de estas razas aliens tienen orejas. No sé Tali, pero miren. ¿Por no tienes orejas? Rex, quédate quieto. No tienes orejas, creo. Tal y no sé porque tiene un casco. Estoy seguro que los turianos tampoco tienen orejas. Los salarianos tampoco. Los elcor tampoco. Los bolus no sé porque tienen como una armadura de perrito. Nadie tiene... Creo que los cuidadores tampoco. ¿Por qué ninguno tiene orejas? ¡Cállate! I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Treat her well, Commander. I'll take good care of her, sir. I know you will, Commander. I want the truth. Why are you stepping down, sir? You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. What kind of leads do we have? Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The Conduit. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Ferro system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact. And there have been sightings around Noveria. Find out what Saren was after on Pharos and Noveria. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. But if they do exist, the conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. Gracias. Tener una nave nueva con toda la tripulación que ya había es bastante. Pobre la cara, Tali ahí. Holy shit, pensé que eso sea todo azul. Ok, hasta ahora tiene cara de nariz y ojos como un humano, así que. No es ningún reptil o nada así, creo. I'll stop him. We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheans. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau cluster. Creo que es buena idea empezar con 
eso, ya que sabe mucho de los prutianos y capaz sabe algo de por cómo desaparecieron, y quizás eso pueda mostrar el consejo que los Reapers o los Segadores son de verdad. Y después vamos a ir a Feros y después vamos a ir a Noveria, creo, no tengo idea. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You're a Spectre now. You don't answer to us. But your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll do whatever it takes to stop Saren. Not exactly the answer I was looking for, Shepard. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any questions you might have. Every time I visit the Citadel, CSEC brings me here for a friendly chat. When I first arrived on the Citadel, I spent nearly three hours being questioned by the officers here before they would let me enter the wards. Al final, los oficiales de este lugar toman horas enteras molestándolos a ustedes. Y después, cuando hay problemas como cuando pasó que cagamos a tiros a personas en el bar de Cora, nunca vinieron. Nunca vinieron tampoco cuando intentaron a hacerte cosas bastante malas a vos, Tali. Son inservibles. Yes, Commander. How are you holding up? Honestly, this isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing. But you're the one who can stop, Saren. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. Anderson is incredibly cool. Me cae muy bien. Hasta el todos estos personajes me caen bien. Ashley tam me cae bien también, pero al mismo tiempo. No puedo diferenciar los aliens de los animales. Aunque yo también hablé de, de los bolus y de los elcor como que eran elefantes y perritos. Pero es más que todo por el shock de ver las cosas. Dije, wow, qué mierda es eso. A Ashley no creo que sea por eso. Directamente ya piensa así. Tell me what happened with you and Saren 20 years ago. It's close to 20 years ago now. Ambassador Goyle was our representative here on the Citadel. Like Udina, she wanted to get a human into the Spectres. She chose me. The Council sent Saren to keep an eye on me, and evaluate my performance, just like they sent Nihilus to keep tabs on you. I think I deserve the whole story. We had intel on a rogue scientist being funded by Batarian interests. He was trying to set up a facility to develop illegal AI technology out in the Verge. Alliance Intel had done all the work, but the Council wanted a Spectre involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala, He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. I'm guessing things didn't go as planned. Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident, but I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. How many casualties? The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. Nobody inside survived. There was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Mostly civilians. Saren didn't care. The target was eliminated. Mission accomplished. And I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining the Spectres. Saren caused the explosion. How did he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. Saren's report was all the proof the Council needed to kill my chances of becoming a Spectre. Why'd you let him get away with it? Who do you think the Council was going to listen to? Me? Or their best agent? I had a bad feeling about him right from the start. I should have been more careful. Maybe I could have stopped things before they got out of hand. Don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. I blame Saren. I think he wanted things to go bad. He was looking for an excuse to blow that refinery. Maybe he just likes the violence. Maybe he was just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the Spectres. If so, he pulled it off. The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. It's no good living in the past. What do you know about the Artemis Tau cluster? Not much. 
I've never been there myself. A handful of systems with a few small, uncharted worlds, but no real colonies. Might not be easy finding Dr. Tassoni out there. My advice is to look for the world with the Prothean ruins. I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. Ojalá nunca te pase nada malo porque sos increíble. Me caes muy bien. Ojalá nunca le pase nada malo a nadie de ustedes. Me caen todos bien. Salvo a Ashley. Acá había algo. Ok. Hay algo acá arriba. Cuando hacen un, significa que pueden hablar de algo. The Normandy is amazing, Shepard. It's an honor to be among her crew. Wow. Tienen dos dedos. O tres. Tres. Dedos en las manos. Ni idea. Creo que cinco. ¿Vos cuántos dedos tenés? Tres. Cuatro. Tenés uno más ahí, estilo T-Rex. Y no sé cuántos dedos tenés. Pero no tiene orejas. Eso es tan raro. ¿Por qué no tiene orejas? ¿Cómo escucha lo que estoy diciendo ahora mismo? Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. 